All right, here we're gonna look at how do you work out if you're dealing with burnout? Now, I get this question a lot. People ask me, why do I feel worse after I train? Why is my anxiety getting worse? My panic attacks, I just feel run down and smashed for days after I join a class or do a workout at the gym. Hopefully this video will explain that for you. All right, so we know when you're burnt out, your stress bucket is full. And our goal is to lower that stress bucket as much as possible so that your body can heal and repair. And we've got to remember, working out is stressful on the system. So you have to be really careful with the dosage. So you see this red line that's cutting up from the bottom left to the top right hand corner? This is going to be the intensity on your, your nervous system, the demand on your nervous system. And your nervous system is already dealing with all the anxieties and all the stress that's on top of it. So we do not want to load that up anymore. So if you go down to the lower end of the intensity here, you'll see it says aerobic or 20 plus repetitions. Now this is just a ballpark with the reps. We're talking high repetition. So something that you know it's not going to load up your your nervous system too much so if you're doing 20 plus repetitions you might feel that born it's the lactic acid building up in the in the tissue it might feel oh this is intense it's actually low intensity to your nervous system it's not hard on the on the your cns if you look at the other end of the spectrum where it's high intensity we got one to three repetitions or it could be one to five just low repetitions where we're lifting heavy heavy weights this has got the biggest demand we want to stay away from heavy lifting so we want to focus on this lower end so you got aerobic work which might be jumping on a bike and holding that pace a pace that you can breathe comfortably for 10 15 20 30 40 minutes this is going to be low low demand on your nervous system or 20 plus repetitions 30 repetitions this is a great way to stimulate the body get blood flow going and it's not going to add to this stress bucket so as the stress bucket starts to lower and we're dialing in our nutrition we're getting plenty of rest and the right amount of exercise now the nervous system can handle more intensity and we want to walk through this intensity range with our training because as you start moving up in the intensity the body starts changing starts building muscle starts becoming more robust and burn body fat a lot easier so we want to move along this intensity range but it has to be done at a slow and steady pace so we go from aerobic uh, high repetition weight training into the more anaerobic type stuff an 8 to 15 rep range so that 8 to 15 rep range is like known as a hypertrophy rep range the way your body's building muscle and the anaerobic is where we're hitting the heart and the lungs so it might be on a piece of cardio equipment where you're just pushing much harder you're finding it harder to breathe this is known as your anaerobic energy system these the, this area of intensity is a great way to build and get strong it is demanding on the nervous system but if you if you have enough space in that stress book you'll be well able for it and then the last stage is for experienced trainers or if you have a good coach and you can take you there safely is the a lactate system which is could be your 10 second sprints or hill sprints or your heavy repetition one to three one to five rep range of the big movements like your squats and deadlifts now you do want to make sure that your body can handle this type of intensity if you are planning to go into this area but for the most part i'd stick around this moderate range your anaerobic 8 to 15 rep range so hopefully that was clear and it makes sense if you do need any guidance you want some coaching to take you through this system slow and safely you can reach out to me at stephenboylecoaching at gmail.com